I'm gonna be honest, this is one of the greatest burgers ever, and we're making every part of it ourselves. It will be epic. Page 71 of Sam the Cooking Guy Between the Buns is the chili cheese burger. Look how gorgeous that is. Allow me to read the head note. This is truly an iconic combination, and if there were a Mount Rushmore of burgers, this simple little guy would be chiseled into the granite and probably dripping down the granite, too, from the sauce. And while you can use whatever protein you want for the patty, I really think it needs to be beef or chicken. We're making that. We're gonna make the chili, which is a classic hot dog hamburger chili. There's no onions, there's no beans, it's the best. We're gonna make the sauce, we're gonna grind our own beef, we're gonna make the fried onions on top. And then we're gonna put it together, we're gonna eat like there's no tomorrow when we're little kids finding out what a burger is for the first time in their lives. I have a question. Yes, you in the back with the mask. How have we never done a chicken chili burger? What the f Chicken chili is a huge thing. You heard it here. Max wants us to do a uh, shrimp burger, so we'll do that. <laughs> no, chicken chili burger. Yeah, chicken chili burger coming up. Today though, we'll begin on page 221, the hot dog uh, burger chili. To a hot salmon cooking guy, cast iron pan with a little oil, we add a pound of a ground beef. This can be any ground beef you want. We're gonna save the good stuff for the patty itself. I suppose I could have used the stuff we're gonna grind for this, but I didn't think about it. I'm an idiot. So we're looking for color. Just cooking this guy through. And when it looks like this, all cooked through, we add almost all the rest of the ingredients. And that will be onion powder, garlic powder, chipotle chili powder, or regular chili powder if you prefer, eight ounce can of tomato sauce, couple tablespoons of ketchup, and I'm out of ketchup, so I'm using this Western chili sauce, Dijon mustard, Never comes out the way I want. You always seem to be at the end of the bottle. God. A little Worcestershire and about a tablespoon of minced chipotle chilies. And we'll mix. And I hope you're looking at these ingredients like I am thinking, damn, that's a fine combination. And that's going to do wonders. Talk about flavorful. We bring all this together. Mix, mix, mix. And when this is all mixed nice, we're going to add a little beef stock, about a half a cup. That's big flavor building right there. Mix everything together. Let me get it to a little simmer. You would recognize this is too wet, right? To put on a hot dog. Well, in my opinion, this is too wet for a hot dog or a burger. But she likes it wet. It will not be going in. <laughs> so the simmering is gonna thicken it up a little bit. And this would be the perfect time for a little salt and pepper. And we can taste it because it's gonna taste like this. It's just gonna be a little richer. And Damn, damn, that is fine. All right, turn this down a little bit. Let it simmer until it's thick the way you want it. In the meantime, we got some beef to grind. All right, we're ready to grind. Here's what I'm using. I'm using some boneless short rib, with nice amounts of fat on it, because we want the fat. And I had some leftover filet that I, I cut in half so it'll go down the tube. And this is gonna make one fine patty. Let me say contact. Contact. Why do we always do that? <laughs> Piece of filet, piece of short rib. Piece of filet, piece of short rib. And then I'll collect them up and put them back in again. Stop it, take it off, and we'll come through once more to mix it up. Beautiful. All right, so actually, you could make two. Do you want to make a double or do you want to make a single? Double. Let's make a double. And the idea that we're not compacting these too hard, too much, means that they'll be super juicy because then the juices will be able to run freely through these strands of the ground beef. Perfect, these guys are both about I don't know, four, four ounces. Perfect, okay, sauce. On page 226 of the book are six different sauces. Love them all. That's the one we're making, the burger sauce. And we begin, mayo. Some diced dill pickle, love it. Some ketchup, and you know I don't have ketchup currently, so I'm using this Western chili sauce, which is a great addition. There's a fly there, if anybody's got the bug of salt. Where is it? Give me the gun. Oh, he was right here. I just saw him, I'll get him next time he comes back. Thank you. Next in, a little sriracha. Tiny bit of yellow mustard. Salt and pepper. And we mix. It was just on your shoulder. Ah. It still is. Wait, don't move. 
It's on the book. Oh. You can, you're in safety. Can we mix now? By the way, you would have been allowed to have gotten them on my show, yeah. on my arm. My face? No. I say you make this, always keep some in your fridge. This shit goes great on everything. Okay, we need to make some onions. We're making crispy onions. Yeah, you could go to the store and buy those Thanksgiving ones in the blue container, but you know what? They're better when you make them. Cut an onion in half, get the paper off, everybody go away, and now we slice. You're just going for thin half rounds. Perfect. Now we take a bowl, we break up the onions into it. You do their individual little, little what? Individual little what? What would you call these? Uh, uh, Pieces? Slivers. Slivers? Chance, you got anything? He's on my arm, he's right there. Ah! I got him. Ah, it stings, man. That's called taking one for the team. Okay, these guys are in. Now they get a little bath of buttermilk. Just enough to coat them like that. Give them a little zhuzh so everybody's wet. Perfect. We'll leave those for a couple minutes while we get the flour ready. All right, this is simple. We have flour, all purpose, and we have some smoked paprika. And we do this. And then we go like this. Take some onions. We shake off the excess buttermilk. We drop them in, separating kind of as we go. And then use a hand to coat. When they're all coated nice, we can go over to the fryer. With our oil at about 350 and our onions nicely coated, we shake off a little excess flour and drop them in. Try and separate as you go so they don't clump. And you know what you're looking for. Golden brown. Beautiful. Ah, oh, they're not there, but they're perfect. Look how nice those look. Yeah, you can buy these already done, but I'm telling you, you make them once, you won't be buying them again. This is not a hassle. And yes, I could have done this absolutely in a cast iron pan on my grill or in any of a little pot, anything. Right, and they're in there just until they're beautifully golden brown. So I'll give them a little drip, and then I'm gonna take them off, put them on this baking sheet beside me, like that. Of course they're gonna get salt, because that's important. All right, patty time. So a little oil, go like this. Here we go. We have one, and we have two, and I'm gonna use a patty paper and flatten, like this. Beautiful. You know that's gonna shrink up, and that's okay. So then we take our other one, Wow, and what do you smell? Short rib. And because we've made them thin, we're only gonna season one side. But because this kinda happens quick, I'm gonna get the bun going over here with a little oil too. My chili is now hot and perfecto. Look at that. Boys, you're all going home with some chili. Want some color on the bun? We've got cheese ready. Take the bun off, perfect, perfect. Loosen all the way, and we're down. Beautiful crust, love it. And this one, well, they did not shrink very much. Look how fucking big they are. Let me take them off, and we'll build. All right, you can probably tell from the sound of my voice that I'm sick. I feel like crap. On a positive note, I have my Theragun, and this is gonna make me feel so much better. Theragun is the handheld percussive therapy device that releases your deepest muscle tension. And it does that using a scientifically calibrated combination of depth, speed, and power. And it's as quiet as an electric toothbrush. And the Gen 4 Theragun doesn't just feel good, it gets right down to the source of the tension because of the percussive nature. This back and forth, and the way that the handle is built, you can get to any part of your body. Honestly, it's kind of crazy. Whether you want to treat your muscle tension from everyday life or some sports activity, stress, or your boss is a creep, there's no substitute for the Theragun Gen 4. Trust me. And the OLED screen and the design make you feel like you're holding something from the future. You can try the Theragun for 30 days starting at only $199. Go to therabody.com slash Sam. That's therabody.com slash Sam right now and get your Gen 4 Theragun today. That's therabody.com slash Sam, therabody.com slash Sam. And we build like this bun in our great sauce. Don't need to say it, but I will. I'll make sure you spread it around so you get some in every bite. Now our patties come with number one, number two. Nice. You know what's next? The chili. There, two more things. Some crispy onions, a couple more back here. Damn, and now we're bun top. 
All right, there's a beast. All right, so we built what I'm quite pleased with. You got the sauce, the beef layers, the chili layer, the crispy onions in. Now we cut, oh, that's it. There you go, everything I ever dreamt about. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, God dang. You always do that. Why? Because I'm trying oh, you to... you missed the bottom bun. God damn it. It's a 14 napkin proposition, but you know how good it's going to be? I'm dropping pieces everywhere. This is what a burger should be, ladies and gentlemen. It should be a mess. You should have to wear a bib to eat these damn things. I didn't want to pollute everything. Here's where I'm headed. Should be pretty... Oh, just in love. crunching onions in my mouth, the chili. It is so rich and flavorful. And you know, I've said this before, I think a half of a double burger, two patties, is better than a whole single. There's just more mess. Look at what I'm dealing with here. You can make it. You saw me do it, the recipe's online now. You can do it. It's also in the book if you want to get Sam the Cooking Guy Between the Buns. It is the official book of summer. I was calling it the official book of Father's Day. Now it's the official book of summer. Come on, see ya.